Hey and welcome, I'm your boy Solo. In this video, I'll be going over how to update the BIOS on your ASUS motherboard. And before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. To get started, there is a few things that you will need. One is a USB drive, 8 gigs is recommended to put the BIOS on, and the motherboard make and model needed for downloading the BIOS. I will break this down into 5 very easy steps. Step 1, finding motherboard make and model. Step 2, downloading the correct BIOS. Step formatting the USB drive. Step four, extract and rename BIOS if needed. And step five, the final step is installing new BIOS and restarting the PC. So if you're looking to install your BIOS, just follow along and we'll get right to it. Let's just start with step number one. If you're not sure how to find the make and model, try looking on your motherboard physically. It should be written on it somewheres. Or restart your PC while spamming delete to load into the BIOS. This will help you find the make and model of your motherboard. It's a good time to take notes of the current BIOS version while you're there. This is where the information on your ASUS board should be located. In the advanced tab in main, it'll say your BIOS version here. Build date as well to let you know how far behind you are. Okay, once you've located your motherboard's information and you have everything you need, your make and model, once you have the make and model of your motherboard, it's time to head over to Asus's website and download the BIOS. To do this, you can just search your motherboard make and model in Google. That will work. A simple search like this should reveal what your motherboard is. From here, double check to make sure that that's your motherboard. Make sure it's the top, whatever one it is. Any ASUS motherboard will be the same kind of a page. And down here, this might be a little tricky when you click on drivers and utilities. It will say drivers and tools. And over here, it will say BIOS and firmware. When you click over here, there should be an option not in beta. If you see a beta version, try downloading the one underneath it, depending on what problems you're having. If you're having issues due to stuttering, it might be time just to download the top update. From here, just click the download. Okay, we have it downloaded. We can close the website. We're going to drag this here onto the desktop because there is a few things we still have to do. Once we drag this onto the desktop, we're going to go find and locate our USB drive and make sure it's plugged in. Once it's plugged in, it should show up with your USB drive. It may have some things on it. What you'll need to do is click on it and format it. So make sure there's nothing on it that you want to save. This is just a bunch of junk that I had from a long time ago. So I suggest formatting it in a file system, FAT32, or it won't work. It needs to be a FAT32. So you, after that, you can just name this whatever you would like. We're just going to call this BIOS. We're going to call this one here BIOS drive. And we're just going to do a quick format and click start. Warning, all of this here will be erased. Click OK. This should only take a quick second and it'll be all done. Format complete. Perfect. We're going to give this a close and go back into our BIOS drive. It should show up here now as BIOS drive, just like we named it. Now, we want to extract all. We're going to extract it right to the desktop. Give it an extract. And this here, right here, this BIOS rename, give this a double click. Make sure you click it first and press any key to continue. Click here, press enter, spacebar, and it will rename your BIOS to TGX570PW. All we need to do is drag this single file onto your USB drive. Okay, that's all set up. Okay, and again, make sure you double check to make sure this is the right BIOS or it will not work. But after you have that on your USB drive, all we'll need to do is go down here and restart your computer. We're going to click restart anyways because we don't care about that. And first thing it goes to a black screen, start spamming the delete button to open up the BIOS. Spam delete, 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 delete. Start spamming delete. And there we go. We're back into the BIOS. This is a pretty simple process from here. This might look a little bit intimidating, but it's actually fairly straightforward. All we want to do is go down here and we'll have to click on the advanced mode or you can click F7 to get there. From here, we'll just go over here to the tools tab. On an ASUS motherboard, it'll be main, AI tweaker, advanced monitor, boot, and tools. If we click on tools, it's going to show us the ASUS Easy Flash 3 utility. That is what we want. We're going to give that one a click. 
it's going to show all our folders, everything in here. So we'll have to go down and find our USB drive. When you click on it, when you have the right one, mine is this here of 14,980 megabytes. It will show the TGX 570PW cap that you originally put on here. So all we're going to do is just click on that one. It says, please back up your BitLocker recovery key and suspend BitLocker encryption in the operating system before updating your BIOS. If so, if you have BitLocker on, make sure that you do this here step, cancel right now, click no, and go do this. If you don't know how, Google search it. I don't have BitLocker, so I can't show this in the example. I, that's not a piece of software I use, but make sure that you follow this step because it can cause you to, it will, it may affect your system in different ways. So I definitely suggest following this important notice and back up your BitLocker recovery key and suspend BitLocker encryption in the operation, in the operating system before updating your system. And from here, just click the yes. Do you want to read this file? Yes. Now it'll freeze for a second and it'll take a second to load up. Do you really want to update the BIOS? It'll tell you some more information and we're going to click yes and let it go through the process. It will freeze. Your mouse will not be able to move during this here process. This may take a long time depending on your motherboard. The first time I did this, I found it took me a lot longer than the second time. Okay, the update was successful and the system will restart. Okay, if everything went smoothly, it should prompt you with this here page that says, please enter the setup to recover BIOS settings. That is because when you updated your BIOS, it reset all of your settings. And if you were having problems and you reset your BIOS due to problems, just click F1 to load back into the BIOS and then just save and exit. Do not change anything in you. If you were having problems before and updated your BIOS due to issues, do not change anything in here at all. Just save and exit. The only thing that you may want to do is go over into the DOCP and use your profile one for your overclock of RAM, but that may be causing you an issue. So I would try it without if you're not sure. If, like I said, if you're doing this because you're having issues, don't change this, leave this alone. Let it just, just go in stock and make sure everything's working fine before you change this here stuff. If you overclock your PC and it's not working, it's probably because you overclocked it. So make sure you don't overclock it if you were having issues before and then just save and exit. It'll tell you all the changes that you've made and click OK. Okay, and Windows should just load up just like normal. And if you didn't have any problems this far and it loaded right up, that's perfect. That's all there is to it. That's as easy as it is. It's a very easy process. It is scary to a lot of people because they've heard if your power goes out or something goes wrong, it's going to break your motherboard. But actually, facts, that's, it's been a long time since that's been a problem. There's pins on your motherboard you can cross to reset it, and there's usually a BIOS reset switch right on your motherboard. So don't worry about doing your updates. I would just make sure that you are up to date if you're having issues. And like I said, it's nothing to be scared of. The only time you'd have a problem is in the case of a power outage. And like I said, there's usually pins on your board if you refer to your manual to reset it if anything does go wrong. But that's all there is to it. This is a very easy process and can fix a lot of different common problems that you're having. This here update was mainly done due to the updates for AMD processors and they've done a lot of updates to performance. So now is the time to update your BIOS. If you notice any stuttering or any kind of problems at all, updating your BIOS would probably be your best bet right now. With all the problems with AMD working with Windows 10 and 11, it is something I highly suggest and that's all there is to it guys. So if you think I forgot or left something out, definitely leave it in the comments below. And if you like or found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching.